Hi, my name is Sean Harriet. This is a quick tutorial about how to customize the player in Articulate Storyline. So I've got a little project here, my little radio, that doesn't fit neatly into a 4x3 or 16x9 aspect ratio. Now, the aspect ratio of your player is going to mirror the aspect ratio you chose for the project. This is 16x9. I had it at 4x3 at one point, and it actually cut off the sides. So what I'm going to do is, instead of trying to uh, change the project to fit the player, I'm going to change the player to fit the project, which would be a better way to go. And I'm going to use the player to make a little border around here, which is why I don't have a border or a frame uh, on my little radio. It's because the player is going to provide that for us. And by the way, I made uh, this little radio entirely in Storyline, which I, I was actually kind of impressed I could uh, do that. I mean, in terms of the tools that are available, I use Photoshop a lot. I use Toon Boom Studio, uh, which is an animation program. And I was actually pretty impressed with what Storyline would allow you to do with uh, shapes and, you know, all the formatting that you can do with uh, shapes and colors and whatnot. So here's what the player looks like. It's got a menu to the left. There's a resources button to the right where you can put links or notes or whatever you want, a uh, title and some controls. And I don't want any of those things. I've got a single slide for this presentation, so I don't need a menu. I don't need previous or next. Uh, it's very self-explanatory, so I don't need a title. So I'm deselecting title, deselecting volume, and then we're going up to player tabs. And these are the ones that are enabled by default. So I will deselect those as well, menu and resource. Uh, resources. And so now I've got a, uh, a frame for the slide that's a lot tighter. In fact, if we look at preview, it's going to be a lot tighter than that. But we have uh, the previous and next buttons we have to deal with. You can't do that in the player for the simple reason that sometimes you'll have a presentation where you want those buttons part of the time, but not all of the time. So the controls are slide based. So go down to the base layer, click on the little cog there, and here are the previous and next buttons. So you just click on those. Now we're going to go back to the player for a second. And this was a little strange thing I noticed and took me a while to figure out what was going on. Even though we've just deselected those buttons, they show up here. But they're kind of vestigial at this point. If you go to preview, you'll actually see that they're not there when you publish. And after you've gone to preview, if you go back to the player, they will actually disappear. The other thing that I wanted to do was go up to colors and effects, change the color scheme from the default silver to black. So we're going to do that. And now we'll open up the preview and this will show you exactly what it's going to look like when it's published. And if everything went well, and it did, see, we've got a nice little frame around my radio now, which I think sets it off nicely. And the player is actually the, the radio with the frame around it and uh, the white space. You, you could do anything else with that white space. You could put another image behind it or I could turn it a different color, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So there you go. That is how to uh, customize your player in Articulate Storyline. And if you'd like to find out about this little project uh, that I did, the radio or other things, you can go to my website and blog at hollyparkmedia.com. That's hollyparkmedia.com. Thanks a lot for watching.